from rags to the party man. Yeah, from mothership. rags to pool house. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Good Time. King of the good times, dude. What'd you do last night, Lamise? You snuck off. Yeah, I just dipped early. I What'd wanted you to do? get some sleep. Oh, nice. You sleep? Yeah. Yeah, nice. I came home, slept. Yeah, you need some sleep. You've been grumpy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You been, are you in a funk, man? Huh? Are you in a funk? Uh, just like a mo. I'm, I'm getting better. I yeah. feel better. You just yeah. emotional? Yeah. It's that time of year. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's the end of the, winter, the springs are gonna completely sweep you off your feet, dude. Dude, oh, you're gonna yeah. be swept off your feet. You're gonna, you're gonna you're love the world. Do spring is sprung. You're gonna get so sprung. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna get so hot immediately. <laughs> I can't imagine. I saw the there was a bit of a glow up last night, and I saw you with that vest on. You looked handsome. Oh, oh, I like, could tell you had been passed at the mothership. <laughs> <laughs> you were glowing. <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> Nate was sad. I was, there was sad Nate last night. Why was Nate sad? I don't know. He was sad. Yeah, well, he, he probably didn't love, uh, you know, he, he went out there his first time. I was telling Nate, dude, that's... I thought he did well. I heard he did. He did well. Yeah. But it's if you're in your head while you're doing something, it's you're like, if anything didn't work, that's all yeah. you think about. But yeah, he was... I, I texted him today and complimented him. I said, good yeah. job, bro. It's fucking very, very difficult to do that for the first time. Especially when I was telling him he was in NPC mode. <laughs> Dude, my first two months in that green room was full. Every sing- I've watched all of you. Full I, Of course I've done it. We yeah, all do yeah. it. The first time you're in the green room and Rogan walks in, you <laughs> enter NPC. Every si- you guys leave, which is very fun to watch. <laughs> Second he walks in, I watch both of them like, we flee the <laughs> scene. Slink yeah. off, dude. Down to Mitzi's, down to start drinking again. We flee. The second Rogie's walking in. Refuge see refuge at the pub. It's the king. See the rats jump the ship <laughs> into the sea. <laughs> you go full NPC <laughs> mode. NPC like, so dead silent. Just sit in the room. Wait for somebody to talk to you and be like, yes, I agree. <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm from Philadelphia. <laughs> <laughs> well, not really. I'm from two hours away, but Yes. <laughs> My name is Matt. I hail from Philadelphia. <laughs> There's some liquid deaths in the fridge. <laughs> I like what you did with the place. <laughs> wow, this club is beautiful. Wow, this club is. <laughs> anytime they press A, you repeat it. <laughs> yeah, we've. i have just get out of NPC mode. It took me five months. It takes a while. And then I. What, what's his name was there last night? Uh, Joey Diaz. He'll play yeah. you in NPC. Yeah, he kind of. I've like. I love that dude for a long time. I saw him last night. And it was just like, what's up, dude? Yeah. I, I didn't want to be like, I, it's so funny. So I want to be like, dude, you're the fucking man. Really. Yeah, there's just so many things. You're like, I have so many options. All of them will mostly probably result in just total embarrassment. It's so embarrassing saying them when you're in NPC and you try to break out. Dude, I did, it's I remember, even worse. It's even worse yeah. when you try. I remember the f- <laughs> first time I met Kurt Metzger. I was in NPC. I was just standing next to him and I was like, Are, do you have a new special coming out? <laughs> and he was like, what? <laughs> and just walked away and I was like, oh, no. <laughs> But <laughs> the one time when I met a tell, we were, it was in New York, and you were Attell, in the hallway. A tell crushed me the first. Oh time. God, dude! I, I think he complete. I think he looked. I said, so I don't remember what I said to him. I think he looked at me and was just like, "Nope," and just kept going. I was like, <laughs> "Dude, fuck!" I was. He was. I was outside. Just made Chris Rock laugh inside. I was like, "I'm the king, dude." Yeah. Walked outside. I was like, "You got an extra cigarette?" And he was just like. <laughs> just walked away. I was like, oh, man, why did I think I could do that? He is He'll so. He'll kill you, dude. I heard he murdered this weekend. Yeah. At the motherfucking ship. At the Madra. Everything he says is funny. <laughs> yeah. He's, he sent it to a new level where it's for real. Every line that comes out of his mouth, I'm like, that's the funniest thing I've ever heard. I did a lot of shows with him at the cellar we were always on. And he would get off stage and go wild, dude. There'd be times he'd get off and be like, oh, was it a good crowd, Shane? And start like <laughs> slapping the walls and just run outside. He'd be like, oh, my God. If you walked in the room while he was on stage, he'd he'd kill me every time. I'd walk in and be like, oh, Shane, you must have had a good set. You're hanging around. <laughs> it's like, oh, man. <laughs> that must be nice. Doing stand-up by the time when you're like 50. Yeah, you see young oh. people coming. You get to oh. hit them. You know they're all NPCs at that point. Yeah. Like. <laughs> You give a fuck are you looking at, dude? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh shit. Oh fuck. Bobby Lee's also an NPC destroyer. Yeah. He's brutal. It's very funny. But he'll come in and he'll like see a guy and just be like, What are you nervous, bro? You know, this is a big deal. And it's <laughs> yeah. like it's the funniest thing in the world. Voss will get you. Voss yeah. is that. Yeah. 
Vossman does that every single time he walks in a room. He's like, what are you looking at, stupid? <laughs> Damn, Adele. I'm trying. You You're got right. pickleback chasers? No, I don't. Come on! Damn. This is a mistake. <laughs> I'm not pouring myself a chaser. I just was thirsty or whatever. I'm going to pour myself a chaser. She brought sure. chasers. Oh, nice. Oh, really? Yeah, you can just... Thank you, Matthew. No problem, bro. Thanks. Wow, the stand rules. This stand is um, rule. this, this is, is the rule. most Ari has yeah, ever was... acknowledged my existence. This. Oh, he has to. This, this won't happen again. Let's go back to America. You know what? Let's toast to Adele, greatest. <laughs> Absolutely. Stop it. Greatest comedy club manager of all time. That's it. And the stand, greatest comedy club of all time. And this podcast, greatest podcast of all time. Appreciate yeah, it. This. Podcast of all time. <laughs> this is the best podcast of my life. <laughs> <laughs> I love you guys so much. Cheers. <laughs> Worst tequila I've ever had in my life. Really? I thought it was good. What kind of was it? I thought it was good. I was just joking. Yeah. I like how you refuse to say the name of it. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's fine. Joe, I, I was, uh, I, I, um, when I met you, you were a lot thinner. <laughs> <laughs> I was? Yeah. Yeah. And what's amazing it to happens, me is know, that yeah. I've watched you chain smoke cigarettes and one would think that that would make your skin look bad and yet your yeah. skin is immaculate. It's stretched yeah. out. And that's exactly my thought. You've <laughs> yeah. expanded to push the wrinkles yeah. out of your face. Yeah, yeah. I yeah, don't understand. Shit, dude. Honestly, honestly, you said Francis, I ate the elders in my that's, town. Yeah, that's for earlier. Francis, <laughs> Francis, Francis has been I dying. Can't, I can't argue that. with you. I can't argue with you. I was on zoom the other night with my friend and uh she goes oh my hair is getting gray and i go really i go i don't know what i'm doing but i go it's nothing's having an effect (laughs) you know i i should be withered at this point yeah no you look great no wrinkles are kicking in hair still curly and full yeah yeah Yeah. you know you do something with that hair you keeping it? He mooses it. For I don't sure. do shit with this yeah, hair, dog. Yeah, you do. I don't do shit with this. Hair. Don't cover you know me. I'm I trying do? to say you have nice hair. Yeah, you know what I do with this hair? Rite Aid shampoo, dude. That's it. Really? That's it. Yeah, you're leaving something in there. That's you have Rite Aid, Aid shiny. shampoo. No, I, I use a product, but I don't. What product dye do you it? use? Nothing. You no. use product mm-hmm. on your hair. What is it? Uh, sea salt spray. Mm. <laughs> the blue bottle. I've uh, seen that. I get it on uh, Amazon, so yeah. I don't know the name of the product, but I use a sea salt spray. Just hammered. In the morning, spraying <laughs> sea salt shit in your hair. <laughs> I gotta go make some sandwiches. <laughs> yeah. I got a hurricane. I got a hurricane and a grenade glass. Yeah. Uh, oh, uh, sea salt. Oh man. man, I love DeRosa's. I love call. I call him. He's always sad. It's yeah. great. We're both always hungover. Yeah, it's nice. It's like we gotta Shane cut this call- out, man. Shane's another dude. Shane's another dude that people say like, uh, he's a. He might be a dick. I've he's never, this. He's this. Never heard anyone say that about he him. He calls it. No, people say it all the time. All the, well, you and I say it. The, uh, <laughs> but no, he'll call me in the morning and he'll be like, what's up, dude? And I go, nothing. What's going on? He goes, just call and check on you, dude. Are you good, dude? Like, Well, uh, that's because you, you were are sad you, this whole are year. You have, like, you guys are the best guys I fucking know. And it's the best night of your I love life, it. Dude. You guys are just the this best. This is guys the best Cinco de Mayo ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's remember the Cinco de Mayo forever, guys. This is going to die. This is going to die tonight. I'm going to drop dead later. At the end of this episode, there'll just be an in memoriam. Can we do a jump up and take a fight? Jump up that night. Yeah. We did it at we did it, one of the funniest things I ever heard. We did an apartment crawl in LA when I lived in LA. Ugh. And uh, I go, uh, it was at Christmas. We, no, no, listen. This is really funny. We did an apartment crawl in LA at Christmas. And I go, guys, we need to do this every year. This is so special. And then Pete Holmes goes, Joe died later that day. Damn. <laughs> Me and Pete Holmes on the same page. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it was fun. Dang. It's just name dropping. Yeah. Big dogging. That's how you stay young looking. Big yeah. dogging. Me and Dave Navarro Woo. were fucking. <laughs> what, a weird, what a weird one to throw in. Yeah. <laughs> he went to like he just as he was saying it, he was like, which celebrity, which celebrity, and just Dave Navarro <laughs> threw in there. Me and Tig Notaro. <laughs> <laughs> Powerhouse. Yeah. We, uh, we went to Chris D'Elia's house. Whoa, um, dude. Shots at the LA comics. Is that how you feel? Yeah. Shots. Oh, that's LA. Yeah. How yeah. you feel about Speaking the LA guys? Shots, dude. Speaking of shots, me and fucking Tig Notaro were doing shots. Really? Yeah. 
Yeah, with Joe Rogan. And, uh, <laughs> and then what happened? I know, I'm, not, <laughs> I'm just naming people. I've been listening to Leah's podcast. It's pretty good. Really? Yeah, I have. He's funny. He still does it. I love his podcast. Yeah, he's back doing Who? it. Delia. Oh, oh, yeah. It's all he talks about. What's that? Shots with the, me? The Chargers, no. The Chargers brought against him. He's a Chargers fan? No, he talks about the Chargers brought against him. For like three hours a night. It's pretty good. Does he actually talk about it? Uh, I don't listen. I'm just kidding. I've oh. listened. <laughs> me and F. Murray Abraham. <laughs> <laughs> They're at Brian De Palma's house. Yes. Mm. With Crystalia and Signatar. <laughs> 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 and what happened? Ah, we were all fucking hanging, dude. It was and then fucking <laughs> Fallon came in and started titty fucking you. <laughs> Down <laughs> came in and fucking. He said, "I, I saw, want on Joe's tits." <laughs> I saw, I saw F. Murray Abraham play Shylock uh, the Jew. That's his name in um, uh, Merchant of Venice and brought in on on stage. It was really good. Nice. You know, <laughs> you went to a, a Broadway Tiger. Was tiger Tower was her real name. Really? Yeah. And somebody's like, "Who's titty fucking?" And she reached into her pocket. And she's like, "Here's one. You can fuck." True story. All right. <laughs> Seriously, for real, cut that part out. <laughs> Man. Damn. Matt, you got any tight celeb stories? Other nah, than just... this? Other than sharing the mic with the celeb? Yeah, this is it. I'll be tell- I'm going to be talking about this later. You could be going back to the bars in Delco. I mean, like, had a wild night with believe. Michael Richards, dude. Yeah, dude. With Michael Richards? <laughs> okay. uh, dude, I met the dad from Elf once. Yeah? Yeah, he was what? in front of me in line in Hermosa Beach at a Starbucks. And I was like, just fucking dad from Elf. I just nodded to him. I didn't really meet him. Meet him. You know, you like, was it like, did you ever see the crack house pictures there? Of the dad from Elf? Yeah. No? <laughs> you Honestly, Ari, you never saw those? No, I, dude, hope you're like, already, I hope you're already looking up crack house pictures of a dad from Elf. No, he's on his phone texting. Yeah, he's fucking, fucking around. You're trying to get pussy? because He's he texting his other open mic phone. buddies <laughs> saying, you guys aren't going to believe no, who's I'm down just, here. <laughs> Joe DeRosa and Tig Nataro. <laughs> he's in a oh, there's, there's like, there's like actual real photos of the dad from Alf in a crack house before he died. No, what? He's dead? Yeah, he died. Oh, he it's died real. right after Starbucks. All right, it's what's this guy's name? Completely real, I promise You're you. Your producer? No, what's this guy's name? <laughs> Max. Max. <laughs> Max um, Mild mannered. Nope, that's right. not it. Max this Wright. Max Wright. Wright. Max Whoa, Wright. Whoa, this picture of him in a crack and he's about to he's about to kiss a dude, dude. What the fuck? Jeez. Oh, he was having fun at a That's crack a house. Mm-hmm. What's going on bottom right? Who the fuck got in there and took those pics? Shit, to his gay partner, left, and then gay, his happy partner. Sure. Yeah. And then the two exchange the smoke. Oh, some other guy comes in and just takes his clothes off immediately. Fuck. Yeah, yeah, That's a, a part. That's a fucking part. <laughs> Shotgun some yes. crack. Yikes. Well, that's such a fucked wild, up. Dude. That's such a shitty thing to do to somebody after they mm-hmm. die is be like, yo, look at them being gay and doing drugs. No, so I don't just care. let the man I mean, die. I respect it. I'm Damn, sure. they brought a they brought Alf, a bull into the mix. Alf star. Yeah, they a bull. Can I see it. Damn, look at that. That's such a funny like comic book layout too. It is of that storyline. Mm-hmm. Well, <laughs> it's like Stanhope. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Stanhope. Part about it is <laughs> that, he, <laughs> that he uh, uh, historically was uh, so against Alf, and they were like. After the last episode, he walked off the set and didn't talk to anybody. He was like, "I'm, I'm, I'm above this." And then the, did it the, the picture of coming out of the crack house. Came out. Uh-huh. That's that's what's so funny about it to me. Yeah, you know. Yeah. But yeah, I, no. I like how they call him Alf Star. Where I'm like, mm, Alf is the star. He's just on Alf. True. Shocking celebrity. Who was it? Was it Foley that ran into Philip Seymour Hoffman? Yes. Dude, it's so he He's saw Philip out. Seymour and Philip yeah. Seymour Hoffman on heroin, like riding his bike in New York, and Foley was like, "Yo, Phil," <laughs> and he said, "He said he just kept pedaling." Like, he, like, he had his arms down. He had his arms down. No, H Foley, H Hank. Oh, oh. He had like his Hank arms. He said he said he had his arms straight down and was just pedaling. No, and, like clearly oh, on heroin. God. And he was yeah. like, "Yo, Phil." <laughs> He's just. Was I, like, was with, uh, <laughs> I was with Joe Grigioni one night. We were going to a diner in New Can York. Count Can you do a running count of name drops? <laughs> it's, it's I like haven't heard of any It's so of these annoying, people. dude. It's so annoying. Anyway, we're going to a diner. Do you think they drop you? Are they like I was at? The, it's you like think there's when, no reason to say a name there. Just like I was with my buddy. Right, I was a fr- I was with my friend Joanne. <laughs> I just said it because I was just like, joking, guys, really joking, dude. dude. We're just anyway, goofing no. with you. Anyway, we were going to a diner to get dinner one night, and we 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 saw a taxi cab crash into a scaffolding, and the scaffolding crashed. Oh. It was one of the worst accidents I've ever seen, right? Yeah. It was insane. A kid stumbled out of the back of the cab covered in blood, and what? we, like, helped him because we were like, dude, are you okay? Like, what do you need? 
and we were. It was standing. Ralph Macchio. No, we, no. I swear to God, we were standing there <laughs> watching. Joanne was like, "We're, Whoa, we're giving Ralph Schneider a special." Cody's popping. We were sitting turtle. there watching the whole Cody's thing. Cody's about to cuck you, dude. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> we were standing there watching the whole thing unfold. Yeah, that was that was. And a crowd was gathering, and all of a sudden, Philip Seymour Hoffman rode up on his ten speed, and was just what? like, "Oh!" <laughs> and I looked at Joanne, and she goes. Only in New York. Yeah. <laughs> I was oh, like, yeah, that's just insane, dude. Amazing that you yeah, had, he had the for- ability to count the gears on his bike. I, I don't. He's still Ooh. coming at you. Oh, I got him. All we're right. getting him. I told you, right. Francis. I've forgotten. All right, I'm getting shithead. <laughs> Francis is a motherfucker. I'm sorry, Joe. I love you. No, stop. The uh, it wasn't a great story, you. but it was it was weird. No, it's it a great a, story. It was Philip Seymour Hoffman have found an accident, and you watched Philip Seymour Hoffman <laughs> no, it, 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 like ingest an accident. Yeah, it's 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 like, it's like, it's it's like, Francis, you have an enemy now. Francis is going to be angrily jerking off your pictures for like three years, dude. Psycho, dude. Smelling his tuft of fucking pubes. Blow him in his face and knock him out. Yeah, Francis is a psycho. Take his panini breath. That's why I roll with him, dude. Hell this yeah, is my dude. squad. I know this guy's willing to kill anybody. Francis is a hitter, dude. <laughs> Francis is my number one hitter. I want to hit people. Hit Francis is <laughs> fucking nuts. Dude. I'm rolling with him harder than you are, dude. <laughs> Francis hates your guts, dude. <laughs> Fuck that, dude. We're boys. True. True. <laughs> Yo, you know we're boys, right? <laughs> Fucking boys, dude, I'm gonna do that. There was a there was a comic here last night that hates me. <laughs> I'm not gonna name. Oh, I know who. But no, 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 she forwarded me the email. I appreciate the sentiment. He was trying to someone hit someone hit someone up. hit up an ex. What? Oh, oh god! Wait, what? To try to fuck her? No, to try to be like you should have. Oh, never Just mind. Just motherfucker. Uh, no, yeah. he wasn't. Oh, never mind. Come on, man. What happened? Well, well I don't want to. It's only going to encourage more of it, so I don't want to do that. I'll tell you what encourage more of it when you said. Hey fans, don't email this lady. Don't email They're any of my family members or relationships. Please. Wait, what were you gonna bring up? Some chick who hates you. Oh yeah, that's uh, what we hear. yeah, that's yeah. what we want to hear. Fuck, I forget. Pretty what tight I was someone say. though. No, you remember now that we brought it up again? No, no, but just exactly how it just. Yeah, I'm gonna do that to her. That's what I think I was gonna do. Just hit her, be like, yo. I'm gonna see her and be like, yo, you know we're fucking boys, right? Because <laughs> last I tried to do that to her like 12 just times. Like, we're boys to the end. Last <laughs> night, <laughs> over, over, yeah. no, 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 they'll well, figure text it out. It to me under the table, I won't say. It. Don't worry about it. No, we'll no, no. tell you after because it's gonna be a problem. Text to me. Don't we're gonna have to delete it if they find text out. Text it to me under the table. I won't say anything because they'll all at her on Twitter. You can delete it if I say anything. I will not say anything. I just want to know right now. Text it to me oh, under the right. table. Yeah. No, no, don't do it. We're yeah. gonna end in fucking. Oh, true. Yeah, yeah, he's drunk. He's gonna tell me. Look, trust an Egyptian with shit with true. information. Are, Are you, you nuts? Orders from him now? You taking orders from him? Do it. Do it. I'm not say. taking orders. Oh well, now you put it like that. Do yeah, I'm gonna do tell him. Says. Do it. After, say after. <laughs> Both of you guys are fucking say after. Do idiots. What I say, not what he says. Anyway, what, what I'm going to say to her next time is, you. You, know, you know me are fucking, you guys, you and me are fucking boys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get hammered and get in her fucking, just in her grill. I love you guys, man. <laughs> <laughs> I said he hates me. Who? This lady, dude. <laughs> Text it to me under the goddamn table. We're done. All right. We're done. Text it to nah, don't do that. We're done. Don't do what he says. Do what I said. Oh, do what I said, not what he says. What's up? <laughs> oh, we're not done yet. Um, write it on his leg. But yeah, I saw it last night. Yeah, just just do like write spell it on his back, like touch his back no, in the letter. I even got off. I even got off stage. Under the table and I was like, and I, will not say I got off stage and I was like, you're gonna do great. And she was just like, <laughs> 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 I was so trying. Great. I kept That's fucking so with her. Great. I kept being like. Yo, yeah. hey, Special how are you? Don't take it. Out. Out. out here in this cornfield. It is cold ass, frigid weather. Well, I gotta fuck your ass in this fucking <laughs> cold ass cornfield. In the it is. It can get too cold for a fucking. Did you ever have sex outside in the winter? No, I did it in high school, dude. It was the weirdest thing in the world. That's crazy. I had sex in the winter time outside in high school. How in cold? A, in like a park. It was freezing. Dude. Yeah, it's, I, there it was, was definitely like some January. foolishness at parks in the cold. It was so cold. Certainly. I don't know why I did that. It was the dumbest thing ever. I remember just being like, this is the dumbest thing. Yeah. Although, I will say, you know how like when it's wintertime and you hop in a jacuzzi? When it's wintertime and you slide up in, dude, it's 
kind oh, of. Oh wow! Wow! Yeah, that was, that's got to be nice. Yeah, that's pretty. The tight. warmth goes from there throughout your whole body. The yeah, warmth that's just really, fills you that's up. That's actually kind of nice. That's sweet. Yeah, the Gushy. warmth of your love. Yeah, your love making. It was pretty nice. Did you orgasm? Oh, of course. How did you orgasm? That Loudly. Oh yeah, for sure. In the night. I in the neighborhood. Was, no, it was like a park. It was like oh, okay. A, raw. Oh, yeah. I was a big raw bro. Nice. <laughs> high school. I, I was actually good. I was good about condoms in high school. Yeah, they scared you when you were a kid. Well, dude, like, you're gonna get fucking. Well, AIDS, AIDS was still a thing so when we were kids. I AIDS? was. AIDS is like really. No, AIDS, I, was I never now, once. I never once was, was worried about yeah, fucking dude. AIDS. Because you guys went to Catholic school. They didn't tell yeah, you. True. Oh yeah, you were in New York with the boys. Yeah, yeah. yeah they told us about AIDS. You were, like, with, dude, you were in. You were in boy heaven. Yeah. Our teachers didn't say anything. I don't think our teachers ever mentioned AIDS throughout my high school and uh, grade school once. Yeah, well, it was the generation before, like people in their forties, fifties, yeah. really, got yeah, dude. really got scared about it. But I can't imagine they even tell kids anymore because it's like, like it's pretty taken care of. Yeah, yeah, it's on uh, outside of commercials nonstop. Yeah, what? prep is fucking AIDS commercials on TV now. Really? Yeah, pretty often. I want to. I want to see them. It's pretty sick. I want to get the original HIV vaccine. The vaccine. I'm. I'm going to get that. See what it does. <laughs> or just yeah. get the original virus, dude. <laughs> no, I want to get the vaccine. That could be wanna, cool too. I want to get vaccine boosted against <laughs> HIV. Don't AIDS. get AIDS and don't fucking prevent it. Just get it and let it <laughs> fuck you up. It? Oh, just, just let, let it go. Dude, every pocket, you'll die pretty quick. I think I could probably beat AIDS. <laughs> just do it as a gag for the pocket. Just slowly disintegrate. That'd be funny. That'd be really funny, actually. To like, you know, start wearing like turtlenecks and be like emaciated. Yeah. <laughs> oh, scabby! Oh, that would no. stink. That'd be sad. That yeah. that is sad. It is sad. It's sad that the boys got fucking ravaged. All the most know. beautiful guys in the in the world just slowly and they were having melting so away. So much fucking fun. Yeah. A blast, dude. They were dude, it was wild fun. Yeah, there must have been so many times like, guys, can you believe we're having this much fun? Look, guys, this, this will never crazy. end. This if, is the best. If the five of us loved fucking each other's asses, <laughs> it would be nonstop. Like, dude, if we were in here right now, there'd I be would, no podcast. That's for sure. I mean, my problem, my we'd thing be is so like, bitchy, too. Oh, <laughs> oh my such God, a, I have so much attitude. You would have so much like, attitude. Dear, I'd have the poster like, dear Lord, please help all my friends be fatter than me. <laughs> I saw a gay guy had that poster. All the time. I would, would laugh. It was I a kitten with its paws like this. Guys. You think so? With a kitten with its paws? Say, dear Lord, please like please make all my friends fatter than me. I was like, dude, what a beast. I wonder how how would that age though? Like if we were like a, a gay five piece. <laughs> like a gay, a gay five piece house is fucking Yeah, but like I'd be so jealous though. You think so? If I saw someone putting their hands on you with, oh. without me. Oh man. That would be yeah. Uh, our fucking think of our milky thighs slapping. Dude. <laughs> dude. Our vein, we'd be tracing each other's veins through our fucking thighs all day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but how would that age once you get in like your fifties? Like, what would you do? I think the boys keep partying. Yeah, lemon party. Oh, you just find yeah, younger boys. Yeah, party. then you 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 get bank so you can go get younger, hotter boys, and the yeah. party never yeah, stops. Yeah, you bring them in, dude. You if you oh my god, if all of us were like, yo, let's put our heads together and pull our money for like just to get trap younger, hotter boys oh, easily. Party I think that's stop. the whole like Fire Island. We don't dynamic. even need money every we summer. Just catch them. True. Yeah. We go rogue on this and really start capturing some boys. If there's five of five dudes working together, we could accomplish a lot. It would, we could do a lot. Nineteen <laughs> dudes did nine eleven. True. Well, it'd be funny though to penetrate. You know, no pun intended. To pen, like to like go undercover as a hetero guy. Yeah. But to see if you could get like the full inner workings, but you just never would put out though. Inner workings of what the homosexual community. Yeah, and just kind of like just get like. I don't know if it's like a crime syndicate. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> yeah, but like to see like what the bro downs like. To get How like sick a it full is? setup with the bro. I bet down. the party's fucking uh, nice, dude. I think there's. I think there's yeah. parts. It's got to be the best party possible. That's no broads, just you and blow. How long do you think you could get away with not putting out though? You're like, nah, not tonight, not tonight. Where they I think that could be a kink. You could be get honest. The first party. What do you, you think? I think it would be a bit bit of a kink that you you could be the guy who doesn't put out. I think they could actually like that. Just yeah, if you gay, twist it the right way, you don't think so, Shane? Rev? I think party one, someone's on your ass, dude. Well, this is yeah. why you have to go into the community. This is why you have to we get in there because we don't know. But you going could end up fucking going, slammed your first night dude, undercover. Going to a gay hey, bar and pretending to be gay all night would be so fun. <laughs> just not doing anything like, gay. Sorry, just honey. Like, Woo! Yeah. All night long. Just being bitchy to guys. Just bitchy as hell, dude. Like, are you kidding me with those 
clothes on. You could never. <laughs> I want to do that. You think that, we'd be passable? How, think how, be, that's the you? moment. That's the, the like the undercover moment where they're like, you a cop? Like, yeah. And then you have to like, Are you, you actually straight? have to do something sexual to like yeah. prove that, you that, that you're not a cop. True. Would you well, gag on your own fingers? I would be like, I'm not gay. <laughs> or I am gay. <laughs> what do you think of that? <laughs> you think that would work? Oh, <laughs> okay, guys would be like, oh, oh you good. think I'm a cop? <laughs> <laughs> he's, well, he's one of us do. oh for sure you think they like what type of gagging? what type of shit talk would you say like say all right say you're at the gay bar you're being bitchy dude a guy like burke comes up and says fucking Vogue. yes you're vulgar burke comes up and says hey hi cool moves man i like your moves <laughs> and then what are you gonna say back to him great dancing it's like you couldn't handle these moves hon and i'd walk away <laughs> <laughs> hon and i'd come after hon. i'd say i'd love to try whoa and I would stop. It would stop me in my tracks. I would go. <laughs> you go. What's your name? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a little, yeah. A little back and forth. <laughs> yeah. You're not like the rest of these guys. What's your name? Yeah. Oh, you're bold. You're not from around here, are you? No. I'm buying you a high noon. Oh. And uh -oh. I'm not taking no for an yikes. answer. Uh -oh. Yikes, dude. Um, I just See? would end up. I think that that would all happen. You'd end up just like getting blacked out and kissing a guy. <laughs> yeah, would you would kiss yeah. a guy. Dude, that's how like you'd cry. You'd wake up the next day and cry in your room by yourself. You're but eventually, blank. it's you become the life, the Donnie Brasco thing, or like those undercover guys who like join the neo-Nazi gangs and then like just kind of start getting into trafficking yeah, they're, they're guns like, and like doing meth and stuff. Like you'd get into it and you you'd be yeah. so you'd call your wife at night. You're like, I got to get out of this. I I'm in too deep, but like you kind of love it. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. You're in the community now. Did you see? Uh, <laughs> I like it. Did you watch? <laughs> it's great. White Lotus. You didn't see? I think I, I didn't see it. Then did you I saw? I saw White Lotus. I, I heard did the you reveal. See, dude, there were the what? The one about scene? the father. Oh, that was very. I think fun. that's yeah. that's the only uh, non-independent film rimming I've ever seen. Dude, that's what there's I'm saying. Rim, you're like rim job, bro. There's you don't a scene see there asshole, but you see settling, dude. Men. Yes. yes. Men rimming. A guy talking a younger employee and it the eating his ass. What type of filth is this? Dude, it was it was jar like because I was like, oh, they're gonna be like making out. You walk in the reveal because you're like they're in there, like take he's like making this younger, like male employee take his shirt off. It's like yeah. giving him drugs and stuff. And he's like, We're gonna have a lot of fun. And then they cut to like some other guy who's like walking into the office and they open it up and these guys just getting his ass eaten. And then by a dude with a mustache. And it's just like what the f it's wild. Would you eat a guy's ass, Sean? Yeah. No. Even if you, he was so, your employer, you're an older guy you looked up to. <laughs> an older guy <laughs> I worked for. <laughs> and paid your way. <laughs> Would Maybe. You, how much money? Uh, You've had probably a couple. like, uh, I'd do under a milli for sure. Eat yeah. a guy's ass under a million? Yeah. yeah. Fucking, and you're all uh, yacked up. Any drug you like. Yeah, I mean, you're true. numb. Well, I don't like drugs. You're fucking like that, numb. You, you can smoke like You told me you were doing a bunch of cocaine with your friends. That's not what I said. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Gardini. Sean's been doing cocaine at the beach. Why would you say such? I haven't been to the beach, dude. It's off season. <laughs> you go down to the beach you in the winter. Sean something. goes to the beach in the winter and does cocaine. True. Sean's been going down to the beach <laughs> with his buddies and doing cocaine he goes to that's desolate cold beaches and yeah. does Mom, cocaine Dad, not true. Mr. Mrs. Gardini Sean's been doing cocaine Shane's lying Ma you know he's a comedian he's doing a joke <laughs> <clears throat> you I think you time. scared him straight no more of that stuff might have been talking to him he needed alright and I'll do I'll I won't. the same thanks man what with the fentanyl and all that we don't need that yeah, unless right. you want to eat a guy's ass didn't that guy just <laughs> die yeah. which guy a lot of there was a guy uh, he a was like he was like a like one of those no bullshit dating type guys he was like an older black dude who would just yes. like break women down yeah like, fentanyl oh samuels yeah. uh kevin, kevin samuels. samuels yeah we watched a couple of those that Did guy we? was very yeah, funny that bitch oh that yeah, would just be talking to women and be like yeah well you're fucking 30 and you you're not you live you, you're a whore you have a you have two nobody kids. wants you you're used up yeah you'd be like next call tough talk and you'd have like a turtleneck and a metronome going behind him damn he rock. yeah it was crazy and then he just fucking bought Wait. a bad bag is that is that now what they're thinking? It that's, that's what happened. They, said he, they thought he was doing. He thought he was doing coke and there was fentanyl. That's yep. bullshit, dude. Somebody needs to cut that out. Whoever's doing that should stop. 
Yeah, it's fucking shitty. Talk to know? the narcos, dude. Talk to Chapito. You think Chapito's down there doing it? Yeah, they do. Knock it off. I don't understand how. I mean, I guess if you get the maybe you get the ratio right. Like I don't understand what the business model is. I was there's always it's, there's a rumor that other cartels are doing it to other cartels to uh, ruin their whole fucking thing. Fuck. Yeah. Uh, and then there's other ones where if they put in heroin, it makes the heroin great. Yeah. That's or always people, the rumor. They always, the thing is like, if somebody dies off heroin, everybody goes to that dealer. Like, that's confirmed. Let me get yeah, that. That's but, confirmed. I believe it. I know someone who's like, no, it's genuinely like, yeah. That. I mean, whole, we can go ask after this. We can we literally can just go drive, outside. We can go ask. ask and like, yeah. You, yeah. Around here is nice, but yes. Yeah, that mile. was the other thing too. <laughs> do, you, do you like to get your balls squoze right at the tip <laughs> yeah. of that, that heroin hide? Do you get... <laughs> Can I kick you in the nuts right when you're peeking, right as it enters your? You could probably yes. you could do this. You, you literally, if you wanted to, <laughs> I you want. Could, to, you dude. could pay like three hundred bucks to like just absolutely kick a dude in the nuts as hard as you could. Twenty five yeah. bucks. Yeah, we could go 25. down there for very cheap. <laughs> oh yeah, there's that's a whole thing. Like there's a there's like a you can watch TikToks and shit of black dudes making crackheads do funny things. Oh yeah, remember the milk crate challenge? They were making the boys run around. Yeah, that's pretty good. I saw one of the dude try to do a backflip, just cracked his skull. And they all laughed. Everyone was like, "Ah!" Yeah, I feel like that that might look worse with us. I feel like we. <laughs> I feel like that yeah, doesn't it won't look be as accepted. You and I. You get, white, doing you get like white fucking heroin guys. It wouldn't be. You get white <laughs> okay, heroin guess, guys to yeah. do our bidding. Yeah. What type of bidding are we talking here? I think I, just squeezing nuts. <laughs> just squeezing nuts, punching. <laughs> yeah, punch him in the belly. <laughs> like you should heart. learn. Like you should train MMA and like try new moves and be, go outside and be like. 20 bucks. Let me try this fucking spinning back fist. Yeah. <laughs> you can work on real dudes. Oh, you could. For sure. You can beat the fuck out of them. <laughs> you can beat the fuck out of those guys. You could pay. You genuinely pay them to wrestle you. That would be sick. Like, let's start. Because you would dominate those dudes. I know they're like, they don't have much feeling, but they're very weak. Yeah. And malnourished. Yeah. You could Royal Rumble. You could, you could give them each 30 bucks and be like, we're doing a Royal Rumble. Keep tossing yeah. them out of the rings. Not not to be a shameless self plugger. That was a one of the characters in my book that does this. What's that? He pays homeless dudes to fight him because he gets pissed off and he goes down there and he's like, give it, he'll give them like fifty bucks. And he'll just be like, we got to fight. Like, I think, yeah, I remember that. Please stop. Please stop. He's like, come on, let's go for real. Yeah, but he beats the shit out. He beats the fuck out of me. That's awesome. Yeah, it's pretty fucked up. Yeah, you're you fucked could, up. You could do this. Of course, you, you could. Easy, you could just go down there and just fucking sneak one of these dudes. <laughs> You could literally you get them. I, you don't even need to pay. You can just assault but, them. But, I'm just the talking assault. but the problem is, though, the problem is you'd be down there doing this and then Pop might see you down there. Poppy might see you just like teeing off on dudes and be like, what the fuck's good? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That is his money. Yeah. Basically That's his money. And also, I think I think people would be. Yeah. Pop people would be, would be like, leave these dudes alone, dude. Yeah. Be, <laughs> yeah. Dude. Yeah. I think people hey, wouldn't love. Stop it. <laughs> Guys getting other just dude. kicking all kicking junkies in the nuts. Yeah, no, it's it's not a good look. No, my one dude, my one boy, he, he, wasn't, he wasn't he wasn't he wasn't like going and beating up junkies. He was just down there like K and A partying, and he would like you know like you know you blacked out and you wake up like what the what? he would black out down there, wake up in his car to like Puerto Rican dudes trying to get into his car and attacking him, and he'd be like, ah, just, like get out and drive away. If you do heroin on Kensington, you must wake up to hellish fights, dude. He's he's often. He stayed in like crack houses down. He like chilled in those houses for oh. weeks at a time. Crazy. It'd be nice to go down there and give a dude a pedigree. That'd be nice. He'd get his arms. Oh my god! The moves dude. you could do to these guys—they're like <laughs> ninety pounds. A lot of these guys. Oh yeah, they're skinny. You could do fucking wild. A pedigree would be the funniest move possible. <laughs> Kick him in the stomach. Get one arm. Get the other. You could easily goad them into the tombstone. Swinging. Would be fucking. You wild. could goad them into swinging on you so easy to defend yourself. Yeah. It's like pussy bitch. Pussy. pussy. And then tombstone. <laughs> pussy. Him, tombstone <laughs> immediately. Oh, the fuck! You ain't gonna punch me. You have no camera. You literally up, up and down the block like bitch, <laughs> broke ass bitch, pussy. Fuck it. Oh, that's fun, dude. The tombstone <laughs> and a fucking crack, uh, a heroin guy. Yeah, let's get it straight. No, you don't want a tombstone and crack. I think they go thing. along with the suplex, dude. If you got them vertical. Oh, for, they, 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 they stiffen like up. <laughs> <laughs> they go full zero G. Yeah. They stiffen up. You could be a sweet little treat for them. Yeah. What, getting suplexed? Yeah. <laughs> it'd probably be fun while it was happening. <laughs> yeah. Like, in the air, they'd probably be like, oh. Like, the blood would go to their head for a second. Oh, yeah. like, Holy shit, what's happening? Dude, it's all about mixing up the chemicals, dude. The it's noises. all about shaking that magic eight ball. Those Maybe. guys fall probably all the time. Oh, yeah. The noises those dudes oh, must make with it. It's probably like, uh, Dude. <laughs> Coming back into consciousness like mid soup. If you're, if you're fucking, if, 
you're the apex of a suplex. <laughs> you just like go back online. Like, where am I right now? You're like, Dang. I'm being plexed. <laughs> I'm being suplexed. Not again. <laughs> I keep getting suplexed. <laughs> oh, fuck, dude. I mean, yeah. It's um, crazy. This is the only thing I've been seeing. Because every day, we've we, every time we've filmed, we've filmed in like North. Yeah. We filmed a couple times. Like, you saw it where we were. What's the problem? Um, <laughs> and you gotta drive through that shit. It's the wildest shit. It's dude. I've never. I. I mean, I would see it sometimes going to our old place. Dude, it's a. It's a fucking different country, man. It's terrible. It's nuts. It's really. And then I. I went over to England, and it was like. Oh yeah, how was it? Nice. Wow, wow, wow Wes. I know you're ready Whee! to burst. Yeah, I'm, I am bursting right now with yeah. one topic, dude. I, if you had to guess it. the topic, I'll give you. It's a. Is it's, it in the? Go ahead. Is it in the? Uh, electronic waves realm some would say there's some sort of chemical reaction going on but it's a creature oh we're talking creatures we're talking creatures dude apes chimps uh mammal from Is the mollusk mammal? family from not the a, mollusk yeah no yeah it's not a chordate it's not a chordate it's not from the chordate family so we're talking like scallops and clams close oysters you know, you know, you know who's pearls? part of that no wait what's in what's a pearl in an oyster true yeah. but it's the front, same family the octopus, my friend. Oh, the octopus. The octopus, my friend. The octopus, the squid. Nobody knows what the fuck that thing's up to. Bro. Hey, Scuttlefish is great. You, cuttlefish are crazy. Cuttlefish, that's right. Well, wait. Cuttlefish. No, it is. It's, it's There's a cuttlefish, it's, but... Is it scuttle or cuddle? Cuttlefish, cuttlefish is the one that changes colors and looks yeah, like... Yeah, cool. yeah. I think octopuses can change colors, too. Oh, yeah. Isn't that... Dude, do you, like, I was... So this book... Let me see what the book's called. Pretty sick. Um... Duh, 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 duh. Dude, I didn't know how pumped I was on octopus. Other, it's called Other Minds, the Octopus, the Sea, and the Deep Origins of Consciousness. But this guy is—it's all—he's a consciousness out of researcher. Soup. We're talking coming out of primordial talking about coming soup. Coming out of the soup, dude. Coming out of the soup and climbing up after Fuck, like yes, millions dude. of years. Yeah, dude. He was talking about the soup, and I couldn't have been more pumped. Just being a little shitty thing down there, flatworm. It's like yes, yeah. Well, for single-celled organisms, yeah. they, they start with single-celled organisms, and dude, and they all just those nutrients coming out of beautiful soups. Yeah, <laughs> dude. And they yeah. you would just sit there and go. As a single-celled organism, you just lay in the soup and just be like, yum, yum, yum. And then you detect a chemical and be like, I don't like that. Yeah. You have to get away in single-celled or They're saying E. coli has two functions where it can like – it can send like a certain chemical to like see if other E. coli or other bacteria are there or it can detect like harmful chemicals. So they can tell how much of a chemical is around them. And they have, a, they have like a short-term memory where they can also tell how much chemical was just there. So if it's increasing, they'll kind of go this way, yeah. and if it's if it's like lessening, they'll just keep going the way they're going. Pretty cool. And it's then awesome. those things cluster together, like they they fail. Like what, I guess when they like they just divide and become two, they get stuck, and then they divide again, divide again. They become like an actual creature, Damn. and then they would just start to sink because they sat on the surface of the water, and then they would start to drop into the depths of the ocean. Yeah. And there was a whole new world down there. So then they would just lay there like flatworms, just be munching, munching, munching. Everything kept getting bigger and bigger, and they hit the bottom of the ocean. And they're like, wait, all these food particles became actual creatures, and they had to start munching each other. Yeah. It's like, dude. And then the fucking octopus, dude, comes through all of the weird fucking shit in the sea. Yeah. A freak. Think of us. We came through those nasty little sea worms. Yep. If you want to believe in that mumbo jumbo. True. True. Although, obviously, there could have been a hand There's guided process. Yeah. There could have been a hand guided process that got We've evolution. talked about this briefly before, but I was like, oh, that's God. Yeah, the DNA strand in those fucking things is a yeah. rubric to it's it's a plan to make humans. Exactly. God delivered it from a fucking bullshit. He was like he had an asteroid with some fucking DNA on it. it was, <laughs> Randy Johnson did, through the universe. <laughs> <laughs> it is crazy, though. It is crazy to be like, well, it just, you know, it just happened. It's like, dude, that's insane for a nothing to just zero intelligence to create to yeah. go through all those iterations of stuff. Create life and then create conscious life, because then people hit. I'm I'm deep into consciousness research right now, but yeah, people hit you with the emergence theory. They go, well, it's just like a physical process, and, and it's like maybe, dude. I, I again, it's I mean the hard the hard problem of consciousness, the mind body problem. Obviously, no one's solving. Yeah, it. but it, dude, the book about the way this guy explains it's nice. He goes through all these animals, dude. The fucking octopus used to have they used to have shells, dude. They started off like a scallop, just kind of like underneath. You're in a terrifying, yeah. you're in the dark uh, primordial ocean. Yeah. And you're just kind of like popping out from a shell and being like, nice, munch. You're fucking just shell up and hide. Yeah. 
The octopus ditched the shell. That's why squids have That's a smart. squids have a bone inside them. That's the remnant of the yeah, shell. Fucking, their pen. Yeah. They call it a pen. It's a sharp bone. And octopuses' brains are right near their mouth, so sometimes they eat the wrong thing and just impale their brain and go. Bah. Sick. <laughs> and die. They're not that fucking smart. They're smart, dude. No, I know, but they're. Although I've done that. Yeah, dude. I <laughs> fuck. I've almost got my brain. Before. Yeah. I've got a fucking. To- I got a chip in my. Captain gun. Crunch. <laughs> just float to the surface. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's not, you talk about good ways to die, dude. Captain Crunch Munched. to the brain. Oh. Yeah. Just a fucking corn chip to your brain. <laughs> Dead. But yeah, they, they talk about uh, like the origin of like where octopus, like they're like where they think because they're like back then it's so hard to like pin any of this down. So they're, they're squishy creatures. They don't really yeah. lend themselves to the fossil record. I mean, obviously. But dude, they. Uh, they go into octopus intelligence and like they started researching octopuses, dude. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> it's funny. I just learned it's it. It's so funny to I know I understand. Yeah. I know what you're doing. It is a very funny thing to like, here's something I learned. Obviously, you fucking idiot. You didn't even know that. Know. It's like, wait, I'm trying to listen. Don't don't make me not want to listen. Every, every time I learn a thing, yeah. every as soon as I'm I learn. I'm fucking it. slam dunk this on the first person I see. <laughs> I was always anytime I hear it, I say well, yeah, obviously something I that. heard and I went, Oh yeah, that's kind of crazy. Yeah. <laughs> but true, it is obvious. I mean, yeah. Once you once you hear it, you go, self evident. Yeah. You go, oh, certainly, of course. I, I always thought about. I always oh. wondered how squishy body cephaloids. Fucking. <laughs> I knew. I had a feeling I wasn't going to leave behind any fossil record. <laughs> I mean, if I if I let's say I kill myself in this apartment, it's no one's here. Face. They'll never find me, dude. It's just a face. Yeah. <laughs> dude, they're uh, so they started. Rogues was big on the octopi for a while. Yeah, dude. What's it? Yeah. He was like, they, they're aliens. Dude, they're, was, they're, they're crazy. Yeah. Cause they're, so they started bringing the octopus. Which that would explain the no fossil record in for, as far as the alien uh, argument goes. It's like, we can't even find their fossils. They just showed up. Shane, like, an octopus can fit into an inch. Uh, they can fit into an opening the size of their eyes. Imagine if your whole body could disappear into the space as big as your eye. I've seen those boys. I've seen God. them on jars and shit, opening jars, killing yep. crabs, shit like that. Yep. And they can, that's the, They're the crows of the sea. They are. And the cool, the cool thing they did. A big crow man dude, myself. They, they ditched the I'm shell. I'm more crow. I'm more land. You're more deep sea. True. I might I'm more, be more up. Yeah. I'm still in the soup. Not in a, not in a, not in an offensive way. You're it's, a deep sea abyss. You're in the abyss of the mind. So how I'm would, a, how I don't would want you to take it the wrong way. I just want to make sure you're not taking it. I'm a more pause, air guy. No, I, yeah. Can we pause? But dude, I'm a fucking land guy. You dude. know, I'm a land guy. <laughs> Everybody knows I'm not a primordial soup man. You're driving back to hey, New dude, York. Can we pause for a second? Are we yeah, talking about the fact you said you I'm not a yourself, <laughs> Drive back and home from New York. Like, dude, Shane's a fucking asshole. <laughs> I call Brittany. How'd it go? Be like, yeah, everything was pretty cool. He's like saying I'm not a land guy. And I was like, what the fuck? Honey, are you honey, if you had to describe me for real, I'm not telling you which one he said. Would you say I'm a crow or an octopus? <laughs> Am I a land guy or a fucking sea guy? Although I could probably fit my dick through the size of my eye hole, dude. So that's kind of nice. I might be in a I fucking cephalopod. I have no doubt, dude. And I have small eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I have no doubt I could fuck my, my eye socket. Dude, they research octopus. They were trying to use like the like Skinner behavioral stuff where they're trying to get them to hit levers. And they had like two octopuses eventually you train them to hit the lever. But there's like octopus bad boys. So the guy was saying they discovered that they have like distinct personalities. Yeah. Or like there was like two of them. They eventually train to hit the lever. And one of them, anytime they come in, a guy would just go and they jet propulsion spray him with water. Sick. So like you come in and they, they started finding that like if you, like there'd be a, a person new to the lab and an octopus will like if it's a new person, they'll hit him with water. Yeah. They'll like pick the people they here. don't like swear them with like they won't hit anyone else. They'll see one person and just go <laughs> and just fucking nail you with water. They you started, see that. Uh. Documentary about the octopus guy? No. You're going to love it. This guy clearly wants to fuck this octopus. I mean, dude, obviously he, everyone's mind goes free that. He dives every day to go hang out with the, him and an octopus became friends. Are you talking about Octopolis? <laughs> Does no. he go to Octopolis? <laughs> I mean, it probably is the same guy. <laughs> it's got to be. Is that just a Greek? <laughs> no, they're t- no, they're talking about the guy would like lift his anchor and let it float on his boat and just like see wherever the sea took him. And then he found Octopolis. He found, oh, he like, found the an octopus, octopus. Is it the octopus hangout? Yeah. No, no. This is a guy who, it's on Netflix. He just got you. clearly wants to fuck this. 
he's like, there's something between us. It's like, yeah, dude, bro, relax. Well, if you go down, they'll they if you put out a finger, they'll hit you with a tentacle. And what the guy was saying is, like, if you start fucking with a little bit, they'll start trying to pull you into their yeah. lair. They'll grab your arms. They're okay. smaller, but they'll start Come trying to yank you. Like, Come on, let's go. Yeah, you ever like, see the giant? Trying, oh, you ever see the giant you. octopus? Kraken. A true kraken. Are you talking about the kraken? I'm talking about real kraken. What's the biggest? What's the biggest octopus? Our giant octopus or giant octopi are fucking. I think you huge. call them octopuses, by the way. No, they're octopi. I was listening to the book. They say octopuses, so I was going like, um, I thought mm. if you're like, the, maybe the reels are like octopuses, dude. Octopuses, <laughs> the real octopus fuckers, dude. The octopusy. Yeah. They're calling them octopuses, and I kept being like, really? But he's a British guy, so maybe they got some weird stuff going on. Octopuses get between seven feet to thirteen feet, and uh, about two hundred pounds. So they oh, could have, that pounds. could have its way with you for sure. But that's at octopuses as well. I'm telling you, I think the real, I think the real deal is octopuses. I don't know. It's like fish and fishes. Yeah. Some people right. say there's a lot of fishes in the sea. It's like no, it's they're fish. dumbasses. It's fishes fish. Are cra- saying fishes means you're a what? What idiot. is it? Let me. The movie's my octopus teacher. My octopus teacher. Yeah. He's oh. half a teacher. I mean, imagine if you could command one of them to fucking get the perfect mold they can become the size of a fucking eyeball so you're like hold up give me that good pussy give me that good pussy the true octopi give you're 600 pie, feet baby. below you're 600 feet in the sea just fucking uh, my fucking God. yeah this guy was fucking dolphins too was that lily talking lily i don't know i think his head researcher was a lady who started letting dolphins fuck her. a lady has certainly done it there was a guy who claimed he had a love affair with a dolphin who'd swim out and fuck the same dolphin what yeah Allegedly. You think she was fucking around, the dolphin was fucking around on him? Definitely. If she's willing to fuck humans, that's a disgusting fucking yeah, pig dolphin. True. Ew. Why did he, he came out and was like, I got to tell people about this? Yeah, he was like, we're in love. If you're swimming out in the ocean and fucking a dolphin, I think one of the stories was like, at night in the moonlight, he was just fucking a dolphin. He like undeniably was like, we are in love. I'm not hiding this anymore. And I will give him credit. If I was floating in like the Caribbean fucking a dolphin <laughs> under the stars, I'd be like, we're in love. <laughs> Is it true? Am I making this up? Yeah, it's true. And uh, the guy said the dolphin seduced him. He didn't seduce the dolphin. <laughs> Whoa, how'd said, she come on to him? She wanted it. I don't know. I think dolphins do fuck like that. So maybe it was actually like. Imagine if a bra just floated up in the... If, like, a swimsuit <laughs> floated up and just landed on a dolphin, I'd be like, what the fuck? It's a bikini top on a dolphin. I'm like, yo, why are you looking at me like that, dude? Do you have tits on a Dolphin's there? asking for it. Yeah. <laughs> Get a one piece if you don't want me to stare, babe. <laughs> she, what oh. is it? What is it? It wasn't in the wild either. He would go to a oh, theme park to, to have sex with it for a whole uh, year. There's also a guy who claimed to be out in the wild. Oh, my God. There was a research lady that fucked a dolphin. I think they built, like, a house <laughs> that had water in it and that you could, like... They, I, don't know why, like. I don't know why I'm saying a house. Stuff dolphins this like. This is just clearly a aquarium <laughs> with, like, walkways. <laughs> but a lady, like, wanted to live with dolphins. She ended up fucking them. She would drink them all. Yeah, she fucked all the I dolphins. think that was the John Lilly's uh, research program. Yeah. Yeah, there... He was yes, doing. They were definitely. doing. Sense, he was doing sense deprivation tanks and trying to talk, to, like trying to understand dolphin language. And a, his like, he hired an assistant, and she just started just being like, fap, 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 fap. just fapping him. Which, like, dude, you should be able to fap animals. That dudes do it for horses. <laughs> dudes do it for horses for breeding purposes. What do you need, like, medical card to fap them? It's like, I'm pretty sure. I think we've talked about this guy before. I'm looking at videos. John Lilly, yeah, dude, he's fucking no, no, up. no. The guy, the guy. Oh, the dude who fell in love. Wet Goddess. He wrote a novel called Wet Goddess. God damn, bro. What a fucking freak. Way to make me twitch, dude. Wet Goddess. The wet dude. If I, I was mean, a stripper. Wet Goddess. Go to the stage. Nice. Wet Goddess. I was imagining like a new free Willy where like Willy jumps the whale and someone's just fucking Willy. on top of <laughs> I want to fucking miss hey, get you. Out of there. Get the fuck out of there. Yeah, that's a... Uh, get out of the tank, you fucking pervert. I mean, do you think they'll legalize animals like one by one, case by case basis? According to Salon.com, human on dolphin sex is not really that weird. Okay, Salon.com. You fucking dickheads. Well, if, here's the thing, though. If they can if they can prove that the animal can prefer one person, like they've proven that octopuses can prefer one person over the other. So if they can prove that it is consensual, then it will have to become legal. If they can prove that the dolphin's like, no, yeah, like hook it up. 
So I, I think it might be a like a back it back that up ball. It might be like stand your ground where it's back that back you that thing stand up. So still. If you, if you stand still, boned up, and the dolphin backs that up on you. It's <laughs> you say it's like Mormons. I hear you. You can soak quite literally in the Atlantic. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That's I, I'm against it. Yeah, I mean, I'm not. I, would, not my, I, I follow the Bible. I'm not true. into the They say with don't beasts. lay with the beasts. Yeah, I'm against this. True. For the record, I'm a Bible man. Yeah. You can talk about all the octopus, the weird stuff. I'm just saying they're fun. It's funny when they spray people with water. Obviously. I do like that, how they fucking. They were spraying light bulbs because they figured out every time they sprayed the light bulb, the lights would go out. And it was like, and they eventually got released to the wild because it was costing so much money. Pretty That's sick. insane. If they're get, if they're in a tank, they find the outflow and they fucking jam a tentacle of it, and it just fucks the thing up. They're assholes, dude. They yeah, want to yeah. get out. I mean, like a fish doesn't know it's in a tank. An octopus is like, this is fucked up. I'm in here. Yeah, I'm getting out. And they start fucking with stuff. And they're it's like that honey badger guy I was showing you. Remember that honey badger that kept breaking out of the same oh, tank? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Every time it was like we had to cut all the trees every day. Dude, he would just pile shit. They watch you too the whole time. They're just like this, and they look at you. And as soon as you turn your back, they go. And they start climbing out of the tank. It'd be an octopus on the floor. Like, dude, come 